Hello. Um, I've been asked to do a few articles uh, in the next couple of weeks, so um, I thought I'd come in the shed and do a few uh, rigs ready for um, the articles. And plus, I've been asked a few times on how I do them. Um, I thought I'd do something a bit different today because I'm be fishing deep waters, so, so I'll be doing bigger floats than usual. Um, quite simple. I just use one of these rig makers from Germany. A friend of mine makes them over there. Quite simple, nothing spectacular about it, no bits and pieces that get in the way, just the normal uh, ruler type thing. Makes life a lot easier. Right, um, the float I'm using for this rig is uh, a Preston Interwire 1 gram. Um, when I'm using bigger floats, say over 0 0.7, I normally use an Olivet. Obviously with one gram it does help because otherwise you'll be putting thousands of bits of shot on you don't really want to be doing that. Uh, what I normally tend to stick to as a rule of thumb is uh, like 70% of the weight should be non event. Sometimes you can go 80% but I prefer 70. Gives you a bit more uh, room to play with with your shot. Uh, just tying it up on 016 midi low vis. Stick your line through the eye. And these I use like uh, 0 0.7 silicone float rubbers. Also from Preston, but they're the, the European version, the Sea Drone. Very hard wearing. Um, I found some other ones seem to split. These I've never had any problems with them. They're all pretty solid so it's got two short lengths of uh, silicone and one length a longer length which I'll show you in a minute Spread them all on. them onto the wire or carbon or whatever stem you're using I like these folks because they're really sturdy when it's windy especially in deep water with the third one make sure or the longer one make sure it overhangs the bottom it stops getting tangled right, float secured in there get your olive it these are some old um, Fox Match versions that I bought, bought years ago in Germany. Just thread the silicone tubing on it. Like so. And to do your double of a, a figure of eight loop, I use two. Never had any problems. Wet it as you normally would. Put it tight. Always check your knot anyway, or your loops, just to make sure it's not going to snap. Plus, it also helps. Make sure the knot's uh, nice and secure. Hook that over the other end. That's when you adjust it a little bit. So the float don't move. I think it helps a lot more when the line's tight. When you're putting your shot on. 
so. Doesn't need to be really, really tight. Right, so there's my rubbers for my uh, Olivet. Let's thread that back on the tubing. So, I normally set that at about 50 centimeters from the hook. Then all you do, I like using number nines because it makes things a lot easier because they're like 0.05 gram. But you just do the maths, it's easy enough. All you need is then six of these to make up 0.3 gram. I normally start at 10 centimeter intervals. So in this case, it would be 40. Just lightly nip them on with these are a pair of new fish uh, style pincers. And then one just above the hook length. I always end up dropping some anyway. So they're all lightly pinched on. Just check one, two, three, four, five. And I normally just put one just underneath the Olivet just to balance it out a little bit. See, if I want to later on, I can actually move these down so I've got like a double bulk effect. No problem at all. That's pretty much your rig already done. There you go. You just have to set the line to as however long you need it. It's like a, a meter long, so you go two, that's two meters. So I've got three meters of line. So again, just do your loop. I know where I'm fishing, it's roughly about 10 foot. So I've got enough line there. I don't have any worries about the, the shot damage in the line, or the slot shot, should I say. Because I've only lightly pinched them on. I've never had any breakages on the rigs or anything, so don't see the, any need to change really just cut that bit off and that's it, that's your rig done and when you're done just release it from there and from that end stick it on your winder Job done. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, just pop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Tight lines.